Welcome back to the neighborhood, boys and girls. We have another special guest, sales manager, John Kennedy. Yes, the John F. Kennedy of South Jersey fame. 15 years, I guess it's been since we've been working together or something. Yeah, yeah. Something kind of like that off and on. Seven, eight, nine, ten different places maybe. Seems like a lot. Yeah, it's been a while. So, um, uh, of the, of the, all the experiences that we've had over all the years, besides now, because now, of course, is your favorite, what was your favorite part of the mortgage industry um, over the last 15 or 20 years? Uh, really helping families, I always enjoyed. I, it's never gotten old for me. Uh, I've always liked uh, helping families move into a home. I, I work with them. I guide them through the process. A lot of folks have no idea exactly how to do it, and I'll take them step by step through. I'll educate them. I kind of take pride in that. Uh, educate them on the process so they understand the mortgage and how the how everything works and integrates with realtors and everything else. And so I still get a kick out of uh, doing this. I really, really love what I do. Nice. That's awesome. And so we know you a little bit here, of course, but the people in the neighborhood don't know you. So if you have uh, a, a free weekend, where would, where would John Kennedy go and, and who would he take with him over the weekend? Well, my place is Cape May and taking my wife uh, is the, the person that goes with me everywhere. Uh, we don't have kids, um, so we spend a lot of time together on the weekends and uh, Cape May is our place. We absolutely love it. We love the restaurants, we love the ocean, the beach, it's clean, it's, uh, you know, we just love it there. Now, if I could get on an airplane and go somewhere, you know. Now, if we're going from three days to ten days, that changes it you know, a little bit. Where you if, if my pay grade was a little higher, I would actually go to Europe and go to the Czech Republic, okay. which is my favorite place other than the United States. Uh, and, of course, my, my wife is from the Czech Republic. And sure. Been going, been married 32 years. So uh, we've been going there for, I've been going there over 32 years. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, you know, we talk about culture, we talk about work environment. Um, what, what's your most favorite thing about the, the way Envoy Mortgage is right now? And what are you the most proud of about the, 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 the workplace that we've provided now? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Everyone is friendly, family-oriented. Uh, uh, there's, no, there's no hierarchy of... Uh, is some people being more important than others? Um, everybody pitches in to help. We're on. A, we have a large sales floor, and uh, you'll hear all kinds of uh, people helping each other. Uh, someone will have a problem or a question. They'll just yell out. Somebody will jump in and help. Maybe there's a new program of some sort, and they got questions about that. Uh, it's really amazing. Like you know, it, and I learn. I'm the sales manager, and I learn stuff all the time from. My fellow loan officers, some of them who are really new, uh, I've learned stuff from from people all the time. So that's what's great about it. It makes it a fun environment, and uh, it's nurturing, and uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Now we're we're doing a little spoof of of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So let's take it back to that time for TV. We have Dave Kramer, we have okay. Sidney Johnson, okay. and we have Andy Tom, all on a boat rack on Gilligan's Island, who's gonna who's gonna survive the longest? Hmm, that's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna say Sydney. Sydney, I agree. Because hundred percent, hundred percent. Sydney by far is the smartest of the three. Yes. So, uh, so anyway, she, she'll survive. I think Dave kills Andy Tom and injures himself while he's killing Andy Tom, <laughs> and Sydney lasts the longest. I totally agree. I believe that Dave will be put off by himself. <laughs> he'll, he'll be he'll be put into quarantine, and yes. he he won't survive without some help. So, uh, what are some of your your goals? We've talked with some of the other guests in the neighborhood. What are some of your goals for 2022? What would you like to see happen? What would you like to experience? Uh, I would really like to see more business come in. Uh, I would like to actually help a lot of my uh, lo newer loan officers really become um, self-sufficient in being able to build their business and we're well on our way to doing that. Uh, on a personal basis, um, I'm looking to 
expand into new offices, and we've talked a little bit about that, sure. expanding our locations, and I'm excited about that. Um, also, uh, I'd like to uh, increase the number of staff in our, co in our company because we do are opening new offices and we're going to have room and uh, it's, you know, it's a wonderful industry, it's a wonderful business and I think we do it better than anybody. I, I agree. Now we've, we've been at a bunch of different places and we've worked at many different uh, companies and we've worked for many different companies. Speaking of Envoy corporate specifically, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, what do you think they do so much better than the other places that we've worked and the other times we've had problems with? What do you think they do really well that allows us to be so successful? Uh, there's a tremendous amount of support, and, and this is like a cliche, right? So support, everyone talks about support, but we actually deliver. The company, corporate, actually delivers. I can give several examples. So. If I have a problem with anything, whether it's the computer, a computer program, it's an underwriting question, it is some snafu that's going on. Um, at other companies that I've worked at, we have worked at, uh, I had to figure it out somehow. It might take me all day to figure it out. It might take me two days. I you were the IT guy, right? I, I, you were, you know, yeah. The, the, the. Here, I, I, you know, the rule is if it takes you longer than 10 minutes to figure something out, you're calling for help. That's the rule. Yeah. So. I call the branch support line, and you know they don't just help. They'll like, they'll literally take the whole loan and run it all the way through, you know, to the end for me. And I'm not asking for that level, but that's the level of commitment they have to helping. Or if I have a problem with uh, the computer, the IT will get on and remote in and just fix it for me. So that's huge because when you're in trouble or and things slow down and you've got a pile of work to be done, you know, to get done. Uh, we have that support from corporate, and I have never seen this anywhere else. And I've worked for some really large mortgage operations. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with a personal question here. Um, one of the things that I was asked before on the video uh, from my coach Stabman was, "What was the most important thing you think you learned from your parents?" So I'm going to go with that because mm -hmm. I think as a leader and as someone who's here to set an example, that might be really important. So. What do you think the most important lesson or example or trait you think you, you got from your parents? It's easy. It's called work ethic. Uh, I was, I was uh, forced, coerced uh, to work at a very young age. I was uh, working at a gun club uh, at 14 years old and I was uh, running trap fields. I, was, I ran the whole thing. It was amazing. I was selling ammunition. I was handling the cash. I handled the scoring, the, you know, all these things in the gun club. And I was only 14 years old, and I have not stopped working since. And I have seen others that don't have that work ethic, and there's no replacing hard work. You can work smart, that's important, but working hard, nothing replaces that. And if you want to be successful in life, if you want to be successful in a job, in anything, you have to work hard. And my dad not only, uh, you know, taught it, said it, but I, I saw how hard he worked. I mean, I've never seen anybody work harder than he has. Six, I was one of six. Dad, you know, basically carried the whole household of six, uh, actually of eight total, him and, and my mom uh, included, of course. And uh, so that's what I learned. Uh, a truly a work ethic, and he led by example. Okay, music question. Mm -hmm. I asked Dave, one of the previous guests tonight, you could have one person from present or past come in and do a two-song concert for you right now, who would it be, and what would the two songs be? Wow. Look, it's easy. It'd be Paul McCartney. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's a legend, and uh, gosh, uh, probably the greatest group in musical history, arguably, anyways. Sure. What are the two songs? Wow. I mean, it could be anything. I, I love all their songs. Though. Okay. So, uh, gosh, that's tough. I'm sorry. I, I had to nail down two songs. It could be Sergeant Pepper's. Nice, care. nice. Oh, yeah. Hey Jude, actually. Hey, sure. Hey, there Jude. you go. Uh, sure. There you go. Anything. 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 I'll let him pick. He shows up, you he can say pick. whatever he has, whatever like he wants. Like sure. Awesome. Well, thank you, John, for coming in yeah, today. Thank, thank you. Great time, great time. And uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more from John in the future, uh, coming in talking about Envoy Mortgage and, and his wonderful life. Well, it was fun. Thanks. Let's do it again.